Grafana. That's what's hot right now. So I go to Hotspot, hit Add Task. Now, what you need to do is have an image in your computer that you can upload to this. I need a picture of some math work. And I have it here, so I'll click it. I'm going to find it on my desktop. Uh, where is it? Equation, one mistake. This is what you looked at before, remember? And look at, look at what you have here. What options do you want for students here? Do you want to only place one marker or do you want multiple markers here? And how about for feedback and scoring? Do you want students to mark every place that there is a hotspot or do you want to mark at least only one hotspot? Again, you, you can, you have some options here. So I have two different problems. I have a, I have a, a problem here with one mistake. So I'm going to, I'm going to say one marker and mark all hotspots areas. Okay. Mark the place that's incorrect. And then I'm going to provide a workspace. Remember you guys got to solve the equation after I, 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 gave, I did, I did it cause I gave you that. So what's the initial state? I'm going to type in that original equation. It was 3x minus 4 equals 2, negative 3x plus 2, plus 15. Just a small workspace. Remember, John, you asked about moving the 6x over, whatever. That, that, that's where this came from right here, right? So now I simply hit done. Oh, no, wait, I'm not done. You know what I have to do? I have to use my mouse to drag in here. Where the mistake is. Again, let me un un undo that. Press and hold your finger down your mouse pad. You have to tell Graspable Math, like it's sensors, whatever, like just to tell me if a student, the error, remember the error was here, we didn't distribute. So that's if, if that circle is anywhere in that region, it's going to turn green after, you know, the student reflects on it. Now look at the additional options. Do you want to include a reflection prompt? I say, heck yeah, I do. All right, and this is where I said, hey, um, explain what the student did incorrectly and how he, she can fix it. Again, this part's not really graded so much. What Grassle Math is only going to give you the green feedback if the dot is over the two. I think we both, we all know that. But it's I like to I like to read students' thoughts and comments there, and I was able to see it on my dashboard before, so I'll hit done. And see, I have I can move this anywhere I want in here, so I can move it here, I can move it here, right? I can even I could take this and I can make a copy of it. You know, in Desmos you could duplicate a screen. Well, you can copy a, a task here in Graspable Math, or I can delete it, right? But um, I'm going to throw one more hotspot on here with multiple errors. So again, as a teacher, I'm building this in my planning period. I click on the image. I do have another screenshot here. I'll have multiple mistakes. Big, big mistakes here. So I'm going to opt for Graspable to have students place more than one marker. See what I mean? And I want them to mark. Now here I can choose at least one, all. I mean, it, when you have more than one mistake in a problem like this, it kind of gets very subjective after a while. But I think we could all agree as teachers that I need to I need to make sure that the student puts something here because that's pretty bad up for the first step, right? And oh my gosh, isn't this isn't this just as bad right here? And it's like, man, why the heck are you subtracting before you multiply, man? Come on. And maybe I should make that box bigger because you know I, I, we should give students a lot of room here. You know what I mean? So there, maybe I'll make this area bigger here. See what I mean? And maybe I should make that 12 bigger. Again, just press your finger down. This is where all the mistakes are going to happen right here. Something like that. And the 420 is a mistake too because it's all correct. But you're on. But I mean, I don't know. I, I guess that's us teachers. Shoot, do I have them place? Maybe I tell them to mark the places uh, where the student made a mistake in his, her um, computations, something like that, right? So then I hit done. I could provide a workspace in the image there. And maybe maybe I, maybe I want to give them a workspace, 10 plus 2. Maybe I want this to be a learning experience or a relearning or a re-re-relearning experience that, darn it, you don't add before you multiply, right? Let graspable math do the shouting, not you. See what I'm saying? But again, the more actively engaged they are, the better it is. 
right? I'll just hit done for now. Or maybe at least one, all. Again, this determines if it's green or not, all right? But I'll do all for now. Hit done. And there we go. Now, I know we have 10 minutes left. Uh, yes, uh, it needs to be. I see the question on YouTube. It does. There does need to be an image to upload. What I do is I, I write my work out. And what I do is I take a I take a picture on my phone. I'll airdrop it or just send it to the computer and basically just have that picture become whatever. But yeah, uh, you do need a screenshot of something. You know, what's awesome, what I used to love doing before all this is just collecting students' work. And I would look at it during my planning period and just kind of make photocopies without the names and just give it to them the next day and say, hey, find all the mistakes and tell us what's wrong. You know what I mean? But again, it's a you're putting the students in the evaluator seat, which I think is very powerful. All right. Um, but this is a way to easily do it in an electronic sense. 